Hi guys, what's going on? It's Nock. Welcome along to episode number 7 of Human Resource Machine. Last time out we did the duplicate removal program and today we're going to start off with scavenger chain. I just want to say um, at the beginning though, I apologise for episode 5. I have to pause now because episode 6 is already recorded. Um, yeah, something weird went on with the video files, the raw files, and it wouldn't basically let me join them together so I had to do it as two parts. So I do apologise for that. But... Without further ado, let's get into Scavenger Chain, year 37. <clears throat> yes, it's getting a little drafty up here. Facilities management have been notified, but we still have work to do. Each pair on the floor contains one data and the address of another one of the pairs. Okay. A scrambled chain. Each thing in the inbox is an address of one of the pairs. Outbox the data for that pair and also the data in all following pairs. The chain ends when you reach a negative address. Hold on, let's reread this. Each thing in the inbox is an address of one of the pairs. Okay, so the inbox is for this one. Okay, so when we get to here, then that's when we're going to... Okay, so... Outbox the data for that pair there, and then all the f okay. So, what we're going to do is take one from the inbox, and then we need to copy from the address. We need to place it down though first, aren't we? So copy it to, let's say, this is gonna be working uh, address, ADD. All right, so it's copy to working address. I'm gonna copy from working address give us this one. Then I want to Outbox. Then I want to take. I want to bump this one. Copy from this one. Copy to here. And then we want to. If it's a negative, we then jump back to the beginning. Else, jump to there. Is that right? Hold on, let's think. Get something from the inbox, copy it to the working address. We'll put 23 down here next to A. We're then going to copy from 23, send that to the outbox, increment that, copy from 10. If it's negative, go get the next thing from the inbox. Else, jump. Alright, let's, let's try it. Let's try it. I think that was it. Well, that one was a lot simpler than I'd um, initially imagined.
All right. We did it in eight commands. And we did it in 63 steps. We got the optimal solution first time around as well, which is good. All right. Next up, we have year 39, re-coordinator. My pot filter has kind of, oh my goodness, it's got two-dimensional arrays. Joyous. Joy, oh joy, oh joy. Sorry, I'm missing about my microphone. Very naughty of me. All right, so. Born to be six and check and mate. Yes, I win again. Ha ha ha. I find the game is most enjoyable when playing against the best player I know. Myself. Each number in the inbox is an address of a tile on the floor. Send to the outbox the coordinates of that tile. First, column first, row second. For example, if address of six coordinates two and one, you may ask. For an address of six, we have two and one. Alright, so. Take it from the inbox. Okay, so here's what I think we actually need to do. We need to do like a bit of setup first. Hold on, let's think. We get the nine. I think what I could have done is I could have like copied all the values to the the, the cells. How would we get the, I'm trying to think how I would get the, the actual column and the row number. Let's just do this for a minute. I just want to try this. Get it from the inbox. Let's say we're going to copy to 13 for now. And then we're going to copy from 13. Should put 9 on the right space, right? Okay. That's fine. That's what I wanted to do for a start. So that put, would put a 9 in the right place. It's almost like we need to do some counting, isn't it? See, my, my concern is, obviously the fours are going down, so they're going to increase four, that's going to increase zero, which is why we've got the zero and the four. Thank you. 
This is frustrating. <laughs> um, It on the, I think we've got to put it on the right tile first. And once it's on the right tile... It's on the right tile now. So then we need like some sort of counter. So then what if we copy from zero? Yeah, we can copy from zero, but how does that... You see that over overrides the zero though. All right. What if we do copy from? I don't know how to go with this one. I just need to set up a counter, basically. My the, the thing I can't wrap my head around is I can't define a static place for those counters. Because, for instance, I can't use these because the, when we get to the second item here, it's going to override the four. Sorry, I'm having a counter. Alright, so hold on. Go from the inbox. Copy to, say, there. And then copy to the address of 13. So put that there. Right, and then we're going to go to... See, I think this is going to cause an error though, isn't it?
I'm just going to error. There's nothing there. If I did, grab from the inbox, copy to there, for instance. See, I think I need to do something like this. Copy from here. Copy to here. Bump 14. Imagine that worked though. Then go and grab the inbox. <sighs> this I can't think round not having the static position. That's why I can't get my head around. Having a static place to store the counter. The count. Damn you, C-sharp, for teaching me to program with variables. to the first square all the time. Okay, so we're, we have that. So we copy the 9 to there. So then, what if we then copy it to the address of there? That's where I need. Hold on, maybe these are our counters as such. If it puts it there, then that's when it's problematic. But this one would work in our favor. So let's just play around with this for a moment. Um, so we copy it to there. Then we copy it to the address of zero. But again, how do... I can't compare it to a negative
zero. Bump it, bump it, bump it. I need to be able to reset it though as well. Alright guys, well, I'm going to have to... Am I going to pause it for here? Tell you what, I'm not going to pause it. I can't think about that one right now. So, let's head back. And let's have a look at some of the ones that we haven't done. So let's look at the exclusive lounge. Is that the one with the negative the, the two signs are the same, isn't it? So what have we got here actually? This was another one of those though where I... Alright. Let's make use of this. That um, Thanks for uh, Team Spen and Quentin for letting me know about the tabs I didn't know previously. Deathwish was talking about this one in the comments. Um, I'll come back. I need to read that comment again just to kind of see what he said. This back hallway is for advanced employees only. Are you sure you want to be here? These night shift assignments are optional, you know, and they are difficult. If you need to ask for help, just I'll just be here looking through these catalogs for golden for a golden spiral. Excuse me. For each thing in the out inbox, send to the outbox the full Fibonacci sequence up to but not exceeding that value. For example, if inbox is 10, the outbox should be 1 plus 1 plus 2 plus... 1 plus 1 is 1. Because that would be a 0. So 0 plus 1 is 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. 1 plus 2 is 3. 2 plus 3 is 5. Okay, so... Grab it from the inbox. Copy it to 8. So this is, let's call this ceiling. Okay. So, what we're gonna do is copy from zero, copy it to one. And then we can do so we may not always get that so we can't just do a simple subtraction but what we can do then is we can copy from here subtract from here and if it's negative then we need to bump the value here. We should probably always bump it initially, right? Bump to there, copy to there, move it to the outbox. And we're going to copy from the ceiling. Subtract. If it's negative, then we're going to jump to 
here. If it's not negative, then we've reached our ceiling, so we need to sit back to here, right? Let's see what this does. Alright. Step into it. 20. Set a zero. Okay, the bump's in the wrong place. Oh, it's not going to work though anyway. But I'm just spitballing for now, right? Maybe we should do that before we always hit the inbox. Alright. Do that as the first thing here. Set seven. Copy to ceiling. from Start again. So, copy from nine, copy to zero, copy to one. Then we're going to do bump zero, bump one. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so it gives me a one on the one. Okay, so then I'm going to take it from the inbox, copy it to the ceiling, and then we need to do we should always go to the out box as well. Take the one to the out box. Then we need to do um, add It's not that difficult. It's not that difficult. So we need to add these two together, right? So, copy from zero, add one, copy to two. Two, that gives us the two. So then we need to do subtract the ceiling. If it's negative, then we need to if it 
that's negative. If it's negative, we need to copy from two. Right, so we're going to copy from one, copy to two, no, copy to zero, copy from two, copy to one, and then we're going to take the value at zero. Send it to the out box. And then we're going to jump back to here, I think. Let's have a look. question and it'll be answered in the next episode guys thank you very much for watching sorry it's been a bit of a sluggish episode um the second puzzle was yeah the 2d array thing is really um puzzling me right now but i'll come back to that and we'll come back and we'll debug this program in episode number eight thank you very much for watching as always like comment subscribe down below i've been knock you've been awesome see ya